Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, he was being kind of a jerk, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. She did say she had a boyfriend, though. Well, maybe he tuned that part out of her story. <laughs> Probably. Probably thinking about how he can sneak off and be all brooding under a stairway while he works on his abs. What a jerk. What a jerk. Not that it matters, now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious. How do you compete with that? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh, shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head off! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me! Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh... Oh, wake up. Wake up, darling. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cuba. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis.
Yeah. Hell yeah, I do. Don't make me chase you, pig boy. Flippy little bastard, but I got him.
I can hear you breathing, little girl. There are bears around here? Howdy, darling. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> you know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Yeah. <laughs> 
Where are you? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Shoot her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. Oh, good. Oh, good. You're awake. I thought I could feel your breath on my cheek, but I wasn't sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill you yet. I usually gotta wait until I'm told. No. No. You wait right here. I'm gonna ask my dad. Dad? Dad, are you there? Bobby? Travis, where's dad? I, I got a live one here, T. I got the boy. He been bit, Bobby? Nah, I don't think so. He's bleeding, though. I think he's dying. Okay, what's your position? Um, standing. No, where are you, Bobby? Oh, I'm in the old wing in that little room, you remember? Yeah, keep him there. I'm coming. Oh, trust me, he's not going anywhere. He's gone! Yo, oh, come on, man. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stabbed me. You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh, please, you, you can you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. <sighs> Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! <sighs> oh, oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First, Max, how are you? <sighs> it's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, 
If you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? I just think, I think one of us needs to stay human. But you'll die. You don't care about that. You just want someone to do your dirty work. Oh. Shut <clears throat> up. So it's okay for me, for Max, for your friends to be infected, just not precious Ryan, even if it saves your life. You're a fucking asshole. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Fuck. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. end up in a documentary. No. Shut up. Come on, let's go.
These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Mm -hmm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. What's this? Harem Scarum. See this, Caitlin? So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that now. Yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, 
Just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. All right, here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. It's not too late. I can still bite you. Sorry to disappoint, but the answer is still no. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. 
maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. What's that? Pray we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Okay, bring it on, motherfucker, you crocked ass cop piece of shit. I'm not scared of you, come on! your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? The sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you. 
to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. Judgment Day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case, it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance, one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe survive. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. One last time, go back. Go back and end this. Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Gotta find Laura. Should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel.
fucking ending. Hopefully they realize the campus glows and try them out to love the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. It's not okay. Better. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar.
How long has this guy been here? Showtime, motherfuckers. Hello. You're alive! No, I'm not. <laughs> what? What's the matter with you? What happened? Where, where is everyone? I'm... I'm nothing. <laughs> Jacob... Stop it! Stop asking me questions I don't know the answer to. It's gonna be okay. It's... it's nearly morning. Leave me alone! Okay, summer's over, Emma! Get this thing off me!
It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. The breath on your neck, always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. Bodies pile up after summer camp massacre. What do you make of that, Anton? Kind of a gross way to put it, no? Why make a pile? I think it's metaphorical. At least, I hope it's metaphorical. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so 
I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat? Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There've been some developments and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast! No one's listening! You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really Really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root. Um, being jostled. Uh in uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? Dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know, people get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hid 
great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now to me, empty implies that it was once full. Same Z's. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just... Say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors, Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. My God, is this real? Well, <laughs> that is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. 
I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! God! Uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't know. That. What's that thing? There's this thing. It makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people. There, there's Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though. I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks so did happen. No, picks you can fabricate. Experiences you can't. I need to... I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me... No! I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just find me a wall, I'll take a fork, and just go to town. Wow. What an artisan. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural, because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. You're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real. Occam's razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh, my God. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh, my God. I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? 
Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast.